Hi everybody, welcome back to the All Things Good channel and to this week's video. I hope you're all doing really well. It's lovely to see you as always. Well, look at me, all no makeup, no hair brushed, freshly faced out the shower. I am in a terrible, terrible rush. I have got an appointment at the hairdressers in 10 minutes. I've just got time to get there, but it's my second appointment of this week. Why are you going for your second appointment at the hairdressers this week, Polly, I hear you say? Well, you'll find out in this week's video. So I am going to dash off, let you enjoy this week's video. Quite a lot to get through and I hope you enjoy it. Well, I did get Nancy, AKA mom out and about just once this week and she managed a little trip to the local garden centre, Dobby's at Shenston. And she loved seeing all the seasonal little bits and pieces. And we even found a spot of Christmas that she loved. They're getting all the Christmas decorations out. Yeah. Isn't that nice? Yeah. yeah. Hello, all my fans. <laughs> it's Thursday morning, and I have just arrived at the hairdressers. And um, I've actually got two trips to the hairdressers this week because on Saturday I'm going to a charity ball. I think I forgot to tell you last week. It is a pink ball, so it is a charity event for breast cancer awareness charities. And I'm having a night away, so a lovely ball, three course meal, entertainment, staying in a hotel. I have a dress, it's a black dress, but I'm going to be wearing gold jewellery, including my Ms. Blue breast cancer necklace. Um, gold jewellery and I've bought a baby pink shawl and I've got a baby pink hairpiece and shoes and Paul has a black tuxedo with a baby pink bow tie handkerchief and waistcoat so hopefully next week I'll be able to show you some pictures and whatnot but I've got two appointments at the hairdressers because today is my normal get the roots done normal hairdressers appointment and on Saturday I'm coming back for my hairdressers just to do me a do up for the ball and I've bought this hair extension piece which I haven't even opened yet and I have no idea <laughs> when I ordered it I thought do I go up and curly with extension or do I have it curly with extension long I don't know so I've bought this with me today to show my hairdresser to see what she can do with this. I thought it was gonna be one long piece, it's not. It's come as a little sort of, um, like a scrunchie for, you know what I mean? Like to put in a ponytail. So that might sort of, mm, I don't know whether those colors go either. I suppose if she mixed it in well, it might, I don't know. I don't know whether we'll use this or not but comes with pins. I got this off Amazon. It's from a company called Richo. Richo hair extensions, have a good hair day. We shall see whether we're gonna have a good hair day or not. So I'm not sure whether we're gonna have time today for a play about. Hopefully we will, 
because then we can just get straight into the style on Saturday. So yeah, it's one of those days, got a lot on. Granny, AKA Nancy, AKA mom, has house viewings this afternoon, of course, of which I need to be present. So that's exciting, no movement on my house yet, but it's early days, it's only been on the market a week. But yeah, lots of interesting moms. So anyway, let's go and get this hair sorted out and I'll come back to you in a bit. A very kind lady who has been following my channel sent me a really long email this week. And she doesn't want me to name her or anything like that, but just to say that she sent me a very, very in-depth email. And it was really helpful because she was telling me how she had lived with a parent in their latter years and how difficult it is. And she also gave me some advice on things that we would be eligible for, but she was also saying that, you know, I know you work for a solicitor, Polly, and you probably know, but you'll have to watch things like um, if mom suddenly needed to go into care, um, they might need the funds from the house that you both own to use and all those kind of things that I am I am kind of up to speed on really because of the situation and one thing and another but I really appreciate everybody's comments whether you comment in the just you know comment section down below here whether you send me a private email I read everything I don't always respond to everybody straight away because there's a lot to get through but I'm always really appreciative of your comments your advice your support through all of this and but what I am finding is that even though Nancy's not coming out with me now or anywhere near as much life is even busier because I'm having to be at her house more or one of us is having to be at her house more to do meals so we're backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, all day, every day, between however many of us are available in the house at any one time. So it is really full on now, really, really full on. And, you know, the way I see it is, why should we have these two houses that are opposite one another when we're flying around all day, every day, we're going in and out of mum's house, doing everything. And we've got two houses and two lots of bills. Let's just amalgamate the two, put it all together and, and someone is with her all the time. And I can't go on like this because I'm meeting myself coming backwards, basically at the moment. I'm in the house, out the house, in the house, out the house, at work. And, you know, I've got my own house to look after, my own washing, this, that and the other. And don't get me wrong, I've said it before, it's a privilege to be able to care for mum. But life is really, really full on and something's got to change. We're at this crossroads now and something really has to give. And I think we are making the right decision. I don't think it's going to be an easy process. I've said that before as well. But you can only do what you can do. And what I don't want to do is get poorly myself by rushing around like a lunatic all day, every day. And not sort of, well, that is, that's all I'm doing. That is all I'm doing. And, and you can only do that for so long. I'm still pretty refreshed at the moment following a holiday. I mean, I've been back two, three weeks now, but I'm still feeling the benefit of that holiday, but the weather's getting colder, the nights are drawing in, the mornings are dark, it's difficult to get up for work in the morning, it's all those kind of things, it's this time of year, it's, you know, getting busier, we're all rushing about doing our thing, aren't we? And I can't be everything to everyone 24 hours a day, and that, that's everybody, that's, you know, everyone in my, my family. Having said that, you know, the kids are marvellous, they've got their own thing going on, they're, you know, adults, they, they do what they do. Um, but it is very full on and things can only get better, definitely, and I'm sure this process is right. But for now, one thing at a time, one day at a time. So I'm back from the hairdressers, I'm in chaos at the moment and I'm just cooking some dinner. 
but <laughs> the hairdresser, bless her, I didn't go for my curls today like I normally do when I go to the hairdressers because I'm going back on Saturday to have my hair styled up for the ball that I'm going to on Saturday night. So she said, I won't curl it this time because it's easier to curl it from straight and also not to have it too clean. So I'm not gonna wash it for the next two days and it'll be easier for her to curl and do something with it on Saturday. And then I showed her the hair piece that I've got and I got it out. I said, I don't know if there's anything you can do with this. And she just kind of looked at it and she went, oh. <laughs> she said, and I'll put a little picture here of the idea that I've got for my hairstyle for Saturday. I'm not saying this is gonna be it. I might just have it long and curly. But if I have something like this, she went, you don't need this. I can do that without this. She said, if I were you, should I give it to the cats to play with? She was not impressed and actually, I'm not that impressed with it either. Do you know, I should keep it for whenever I, I might take it on holiday and things like that. You know, if you just want to throw your hair up in a bun or a ponytail or something. I'm just stirring my spaghetti bolognese, excuse me. Um, so yeah, but, and I've just got back from Nancy's and I've cleaned the whole house from top to bottom and I was going to film it and then I forgot um, because she'd got some um, viewings today and one this afternoon that cancelled 10 minutes before the appointment but at least they called and cancelled they didn't just not turn up so hopefully they're going to rearrange for next week but we've got more viewings on Sunday afternoon I think just waiting for confirmation on those. But in the meantime, my house is going to wreck and ruin. But fortunately, there are no viewers on my house as of yet. So it's just one of those, isn't it? It's just, you know, I need to not stress about it and just do my thing. You know, do what we do each day. And most importantly, look after Nancy, aka mom. She is the most important thing in this whole process. So anyway, my dinner's a little bit late tonight, but I am going to have it now. Mm, and then um, a bit of a chill out, a bit of EastEnders, I think. I just want to share with you a couple of little deliveries I've had this week. Look at my remember board. Now that remember board is predominantly for things to remember, like shopping, to pay a bill or something like that, or to do something over it. Nancy's Grace has decided to turn it into artwork. So we've got pumpkins and a picture of me, apparently and a lion, and a cat, and a sheep, and a house, and a shed. She's 20. She's 20 years old. We have a drawing board on the wall. I have no words. Anyway, I'm going to show you a couple of little things I've had. So, these are predominantly from the ball I'm going to, because I'm wearing a black dress, but it's a pink ball for breast cancer awareness. So I've bought some pink accessories. And then I've got something else to show you, which is very exciting. Um, pink accessories. So first of all, I have, now I've decided not to have the rather strange hair piece, gone for a hair accessory. So let's see, if I take it out of the packaging, you might be able to see it a little bit better. And I'm hoping my hairdresser, Donna, will approve of this one. More than a little bit of rag that was going to go in my hair. Hang on. Oh, yes, there we go. Oh, it's cute. How, ooh, how pretty is that? How pretty is that? So I think we can find, I don't know, some way to utilize this. It's just on a little hair slide at the back. So we should be able to get that in. It's quite delicate. Oh, but look, you can move it into whatever sort of position you want. You can have it a bit longer. That's pretty, isn't it? So, oh, I do like that. I'm sure we can make use of that. I also, these are all of Amazon, by the way. I shall link these down below in the description box for you. I also treated myself to a baby pink handbag, little purse bag, really, that will just, oh, it has got a little strap. I didn't think it was gonna come with a strap. It's got a little strap, so you could have it over the shoulder. But look how cute is that? How cute is that? Little pink satin evening bag with a nice little pearl designed handle. 
Oh, just enough room in there for your money, your mobile phone, lipstick, a little bit of perfume. I think that's absolutely perfect and dead cute, but I could have it as a hard bag rather than a little purse, but I think, no, I think I shall hold it like that. And it's, you can put it somewhere, can't you? When you're having your meal out of the way. And I also got a shawl, a pink shawl, because this morning when I got up, it was rather chilly. And my dress is a halter neck, no sleeved dress. Um, in fact, I had to de-ice the car this morning, but there we go. So I've bought a pink shawl that I can wear sort of to and from the venue, as it were. And it's just a bit of something to put over your shoulders if it gets a bit nippy, isn't it? But it's baby pink for the pink ball. So I am actually quite impressed with those. And they've come nice and quickly and in time for the night itself, which is great. And exactly the same colour as Paul's bow tie and handkerchief. So we shall be matching. And the next purchase I want to show you. Oh no, I've got another ball purchase. Hang on. My shoes have arrived, look. Oh, now these are off Amazon as well. Haven't tried them on yet. Those me baby pink sandals, haven't tried them on yet. So we'll see how they fit and feel. I do have some black stiletto-y kind of shoes if these aren't going to be suitable, but they look fine to me. They were very reasonably priced as well. And I've got them in all sizes. So I shall try those on later and check that they're gonna be okay. I'll take some spares. I'm also going to take my little diamante flip-flops from Archie's. They're not going to fit in my little purse though, but I'm going to wear my flip-flops around the hotel and in my room right up until the last minute till we have to actually go to the ball because I'm not used to wearing high heels. I don't go out very often. And they look lovely, but I'll know about it after a couple of hours, that's for sure. The next purchase I got is actually from The White Company. Now, I don't buy a lot throughout the year from the White Company because it's it's quite expensive, but I love the White Company and I especially love the White Company at Christmas because I love their Christmas scents. And for years and years and years, I've always treated myself to their oils, particularly in the scent of fir tree, because I like to actually put some of the scented oil on my Christmas tree, and my garland that goes over the mantle, or anything that's kind of got branches and what have you, I like it to be scented. And it really does smell of traditional, real Christmas fir tree. It's a most beautiful scent. Last year, I went to the bull ring. Now, I can't remember when it was. I don't know whether it was November or the start of December probably about the end of November, start of December, because I went to, I went specifically to Birmingham to the Christmas German market. And there is a white company. And I went in and I looked for this and it was nowhere to be seen apart from in a multi-pack gift set that had other things in. And I ended up buying that just to get this particular scent. To cut a very long story short, at the time I said, oh, I can't find any of your fir tree oil. And she went, you won't. Unless you order it online, about October time, it sells out so quickly, you won't find it in any of the stores, and you'd be jolly lucky if you can get it online after the end of November. So I was ahead of the game this year, and I have managed to get it online. Here it is, and I've bought four of them. <laughs> I've bought four of them, but to me, this is Christmas in a little bottle, and you can't beat it. Oh, oh, Christmas. Oh my goodness me. It's so beautiful. I have never known another Christmas reed diffuser, candle, oil that matches that. You can buy in candle and a reed diffuser as well. And I can never find anything that matches that. I love it. I love it. And I've managed to get my hands on four of them. So I'm very pleased about that. So really, I just wanted to tell you, if you want any of those or any of their Christmas scents or anything like that, get them early 
from the White Company. There's my little bit of advice for you for the week. And I'm going to have a cup now of my Mother Nature tea because I need one predominantly, but also I have a discount code for you that is amazing. It's PolyJ15. And you know I'm an ambassador for the Mother Nature tea brand, which I absolutely love. They have said you can have £15 off with my discount code and that is off anything. So if there was something you fancied on their website and it was £15, there's no minimum spend. That means you'd get it for free. Did you hear me correctly? You'd get it for free. So I shall link that discount code down below for you and you can have £15 off anything from Mother Nature Tea. And again, lovely little Christmas present. Lovely little Christmas present if you know someone that's into those kind of things and love it. And if you need to know a little bit about, about Mother Nature Tea, I did do a vlog a few weeks ago, have a look back. I'm so, so proud to be their brand ambassador. And I love it. And I'm going to make myself a cup now because I've not long come in from work. I've coffeeed up all morning and my body's going, give me something nice and refreshing, Bolly. So I'm gonna have a nice cup of tea. And I've just found one that I haven't opened yet. So this is what I'm gonna have. Cardamom green tea. Mm -mm -mm. Have I opened it yet? No, I haven't opened this one yet. And how cute is the packaging as well? Glitzy, I love it. I love it, I can't open it. I'm gonna to have to get some scissors and decant it into something else so I can open it quickly. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. You haven't got smell of vision, have you? Look at that. Look how organic that is. It's so nice because they're so, so organic that it's not like you're getting an overpowering scent. It's just so natural. So natural. Mother Nature. Mother Nature too. Mm, yeah, having a cup of that. So here we are having our moment on the bed. And I'm not alone on the bed, no. Little Myla has joined me on the bed tonight and just looking at her, having a little sleep here, she just looks so peaceful. And as I sat down to think about what we will talk about in this week's moment on the bed, I thought, actually, that says it all. A moment of peace, when everything is a bit up in the air, or we're feeling overwhelmed, or a little bit out of control, or a little bit out of our depth, or anything like that, a bit anxious. Peace and quiet is sometimes essential. And this has been a very chatty vlog, hasn't it, this week? But you could probably sense at times throughout it that I'm starting to have moments, days, parts of days, of feeling a little bit, oh wow, this is a huge process that we're going through and I'm dashing here and there and there's not a minute to think and there's not a minute to myself. And then I have to remember to take stock and go, do you know what? It's all mapped out for us anyway, I think. And what will be, will be. And it's vital to be able to stop for a minute have some peace and quiet and collect your thoughts and get rid of those worries and those burdens as much as you possibly can. Because you feel so much lighter and so much better when you do and you can. I find that when I'm feeling overwhelmed, I feel heavy, I feel out of control and I feel weighed down with that heaviness. And as soon as I sort of take a moment, I think, do you know what? It's, it is what it is and everything's okay. I start to instantly feel better. And I went through a bit of a stage a couple of three weeks ago of viewing houses, potential houses to buy and thinking, this is the one. No, it's not the one. This is the one. No, it's not the one. And then sort of going, do you know what? It was a really good exercise and it wasn't pointless because I think I've said before, it established exactly what we need to have, exactly what our criteria is 
for this house move to work and this process for Nancy. So it was a really good exercise. But then I had to go, do you know what? I'm going to stop viewing houses now. I know what we want. And when I say stop viewing houses, I'm not going to be in any rush. There are certain ones that I've got my eye on that I'd like to perhaps drive past and have a look to begin with. But I'm not going to book any more viewings just yet because we've got no movement on ours. But also that could change at any time. Mom's having lots of interest in her house and I think it's because her house is so versatile and it's in that sort of first time buyer bracket, financial bracket. Um, the, the nature of the house is that it would be ideal for a first time buyer. It would be ideal for someone on their own. It would be ideal for a couple. It would be ideal for somebody elderly. So it, the audience for Mum's house is very broad, whereas mine's a little bit more, it is a family home. So you're either going to have a young family or someone that's about to have a family or maybe someone that's got two or three people that they're living with or teenagers. It's a different bracket totally. And it'll happen when it happens. But I had to sort of stop a bit this week and go, do you know what? Calm down. <laughs> Calm down. Because you'll make yourself poorly and that's no good. And I am pretty good at knowing my limits and I know when I'm getting, things are getting too much. So we know what the criteria is for the house move. But it's very important to not rush into things, not rush about with things. And most importantly, my job is to look after myself so that I can look after Nancy. And it was lovely that she was able to get to the garden centre on Sunday. But she really hasn't gone out much, or she hasn't gone out for the rest of the week and um, she's missing you all. So I said, you know, we really must, I really must film her with me more this coming week. Um, we're taking her out for a meal this evening. Uh, it's a little bit of a change, a bit of a treat. And it, it's making um, time to do things with her that she can do. So if she wants to go out, She's no longer going to the supermarket, but, it, you know, I'll, I can say, Let, let's go for a coffee. Let's go and have some, some lunch. Let's do this. Let's do that. And she's so chirpy, as you could see in the earlier clip, albeit very little clip. And she was so funny when we were at the garden centre and she said, are you filming? Will my fans get to see me? <laughs> and she's talking about Christmas. She loves Christmas almost as much as I do. And having had that little glimpse of Christmas in the garden centre and she's a little bit confused on dates anyway. She keeps asking me what month we're in and I've had to tell her it's not quite Christmas yet, but she loves it so much that she was getting so excited about, she can't wait to see the lights. She can't wait to see the Christmas decorations. She can't wait for all of that. And it's highly unlikely that we'd be moving house in time for Christmas. I suspect we'll still be in these properties for Christmas this year. And yes, I've decided I'm going to do Vlogmas. Well, she says that. I am planning to do Vlogmas because I love it. And I know you love it too. But if for some reason we are in the throes of moving house, I might rethink that. I won't stop doing it completely, but it might be a sort of upload every two or three days. If, if, if by any chance whatsoever, we are literally in the process of moving house. And if not, doing vlogmas doing vlogmas so that's fun and uh, there's so much to look forward to there's so much to look forward to and I know I haven't done much content particularly this last couple of weeks and it's just been so full on and I've you know bombarded my head with moving and getting things organized and getting the houses on the market and sorting things out and you know what it's like life gets in the way but it kind of needs to just settle and do its own thing now. And I'm just sort of going to sit back and be in the waiting process. And as it stands at the moment, Nancy is fine in her house. It's just that we're doing everything for her over there. She can still put herself to bed 
we do worry now about her going up and down the stairs. She does only do it twice a day to come downstairs in the morning and then to go up to bed in the evening. But I think within six months, Nancy won't be able to do stairs at all. So yes, I'm mindful and I'm gonna be a bit more laid back about the house move process. But equally, the problems that exist now are going to exacerbate and we'll have other problems in six months time. So equally, the sooner it happens, the better. But please follow me on this journey because it's gonna be interesting and it's gonna be hopefully fun and not too stressful. And Nancy's so excited. She's so chirpy about it. She loves her little house and she keeps saying, oh, it's such a lovely little house and whoever gets this is gonna be so lucky because it's so gorgeous. But she's also very comforted by the fact that we're gonna be living together and that she feels secure and as I say, comforted, I think is the right word, that she knows we're not going to go, do you know what, mum? Time's up, you're going into a home. She doesn't want that, we don't want that, and we will do everything in our power to prevent that. And I think she just feels so relaxed that we've made that decision, that that's really, really positive. So anyway, it's not very often I have a night out, is it? So when you're watching this, I will have actually already been to the pink ball and hopefully have had a lovely time, but I am so looking forward to have having an evening out and dressing up don't get to dress up ever. And in fact, the last time I went to a ball was 2010 when I organised the ball. So long time ago. So hopefully it is lovely. I hope you have had a lovely week and enjoyed this week's video. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe and hit that bell. And please give this video a thumbs up if you like it, because it means a lot to me as well. And I look forward to seeing you next Sunday with lots more shenanigans. And until then, stay safe, stay in the boat and keep doing all things good. See you next Sunday. Take care. Bye. Thank you.